This unborn child is due in a matter of weeks, the product of sex trafficking. Its mother is 14-year-old Serena, who fell pregnant to one of her abusers. She doesn't know who. These are Romania's child victims of the trade, who play and chat like teenage girls should. But their bodies have experienced what you'd hope nobody would. We have the 14-year-old girl. She fell in love with the guy who <laughs> exploit her and beat her up. The 16-year-old has been raped by her father. The 13-year-old joined the wrong group. They forced her, they beat her up. It is no wonder they sit defensively, protecting themselves. Their refuge was not found easily. The woman who opened it is Jana Matei. How many girls are living here at the moment? Six girls. These security gates have protected trafficked minors for nearly two decades, children that are rescued before they're lost to countries like the UK. If they are very young, they are exploited in flats because they are hidden. At 14, 15, they can be taken out on the street to get used with the environment. They train them until they are 18 in Romania and then they sell them in the Western countries. And it's very difficult to help them when they are in your countries because they've been in this situation for four or five years. There is no other life they know. On the streets of Romania's capital, the trade is pervasive. Sex is so ubiquitous, it's just accepted. <laughs> In the center of the old town, we were pursued by bar owners offering us women and drugs. And taxi drivers said they'd take us to the city's best brothels. The trafficking of human beings from this country to the UK is prolific. It's the promised land that's closer <laughs> to our country. Ioana Sandescu works for a Romanian anti-trafficking organization. Romanians are the main European population that is being exploited in the UK. The promise of a better life turns into a nightmare. There's no way that they can go back home because there's this pressure and this shame. Then not only are you a failure in your eyes, but you're a failure in the community's eyes and the family's eyes. But it's not the bright lights of Bucharest that these victims are trying to escape. It is the bleakness and poverty of rural life that most want to leave. This is Cryova in the southwest, a traditional town, a target for traffickers, where life is hard. Yeah. This woman supports a family of five on just 90 pounds a month. Those who have so little are easy prey for those who can promise them so much and have the ability to intimidate. This man knows the traffickers in his town, so he didn't want to be identified. But he did show us a large house that he claims is one of theirs. As a British car. The cars parked outside are registered to the UK. This is how the profit from people is spent and how lives are ruined. Lives like Daniela's. I miss my child. I gave birth to her. I raised her. She believes her daughter was trafficked by a man she was told was her boyfriend. Daniela originally thought she was taken to England, but now knows she works in Germany and is addicted to drugs. When the police first told me uh, she was doing prostitution, I just fell to my knees. She would have never done that on her own if she wasn't forced to do it. My husband, he works in Spain, but he comes home every three months and we go look, looking for her. They will not stop searching for her. She vanished from her home six years ago. 
Human trafficking thrives where people lack opportunities and the rule of law is weak. And when the balance between risk and reward tips in favour of the trafficker, the vulnerable become more vulnerable. Last year, lawmakers here jailed less than half the traffickers they prosecuted. The corridors of power lacking the ability to convict. Those at the top see it differently. We try to do our best, legally speaking, but you need two for the tangle. The receiving markets, the receiving countries have to do their own job. Uchian Romerskanu is part of the parliamentary group against human trafficking. Do you believe in your legal system, your justice system, that it's doing enough? Oh, you never can say that it's enough. But of course we are not alone in this world. I presume that, that ladies have clients in UK. Talk to them, punish them. Stronger punishments for those who abuse or pay to abuse is one answer. But to stem the flow of these victims abroad, an alternative, aspirational life must be visible at home.